UTSA Athletics is just a couple months away from the start of a massive new sports complex known as the Roadrunners Athletic Center of Excellence, or RACE for short. The objective of this facility is to provide proper resources for all 17 NCAA Division I sports programs on campus, something that's been a sore spot for donors, coaches, and athletes alike over the past couple of years. With concept art now available online, Athletic Director Lisa Campos is excited at just how quickly things seem to be coming together. So excited for, uh, you know, we haven't talked a ton publicly about it. We do have a timeline together. We have been doing some silent fundraising and, and very soon we'll, we'll be able to put that public phase out there. And we've been working with the architects since about August and really trying to fast pace this and they've been able to pro provide some conceptual ideas um, and then putting a little bit more detail as, as we move forward. Race will be constructed on the southwest part of campus, much closer than the university's Park West complex built for soccer and track and field back in 2013. Those teams now get improved locker and shower availability. The facility will also have two full fields to practice on, plenty of space for multiple sports to use at once. One will be covered, um, the other will be a, a natural grass turf. So as you were July 11th, we feel the heat. We know our student athletes are out there practicing right now. So to have that relief from the, from the heat will be something really nice for our student athletes. This will be a very comprehensive facility that it's sports performance, it's um, academics performance. It's going to include all those elements to help our student athletes be really successful. So it's going to be really one of our um, key facilities for this department. The biggest impact will be for the football program, which will eventually be based in race itself, no longer in the intercollegiate athletic building. The current timeline has UTSA breaking ground in November, with the facility being completed in September of 2020. Campo said that's an easy transition for the team is definitely a priority. We're going to go at the rate of speed that we can do the fundraising and the rate of speed. You know, obviously we want to do it as quickly as possible. We want to time it in a way that the team can move in at the most um, optimum time, um, not during season, obviously. So all of those will, all of those details we'll figure out as we get closer to the project. A pair of international soccer teams have also inquired about using race upon completion. Just one example of the kind of impact this facility will likely have on sports in the San Antonio area.